So if you look at activity number three here, they say which you are given a figure below, and then this figure here, they are telling you which you have S, then this P here, okay, it's S, P, Q, they say which is angle here, it's A, and then they say which you also have angle uh, P, Q, S, which is B, which is this one here. And, uh, and then they say which we have P, Q, which is H, starting from P here. Until you get to Q, they say which is H. And then they say which P, Q, and R, S are perpendicular to R, Q. So you can see which here is a 90 degree angle here. If there's a 90 degree angle here, what we have to try to do here, we are going to name all the other angles in terms of the A and B. I agree we are given A and B. So I'm going to try to name these other angles in terms of A and B. What will be this angle here in terms of A and B? 180 minus into A plus B. Yeah, so this is going to be 180 degrees minus A plus B. It's fine, right? Okay? Yes. Okay, what is going to be this angle here? What do you expect this angle to be? 90 minus B. It's going to be 90 minus B, again. Okay? Yes. So this is going to be 90 minus B. And then what is going to be this angle here? I'm going to name all the angles in terms of A and B. I think what, one thing that I've seen, mind you, it will make sense for you if you start to name all the different angles in terms of the given variables. So what is going to be this one here in terms of A and B? Then? We can say this one plus this one plus this one when we add them up. Again. They're going to give us what? Okay, let, let's try. It. it means which S is going to be given as 180 degrees minus 90 plus B. Minus nine. And then it makes this to be B. Yes. Wow. You didn't see that coming. So this one here is angle B. I can we say this one here, my friend. This one plus this one plus this one, they're going to give us 180. So in other words, we should you, when you add, I agree here, you already have 90. This is going to be 90 plus 9. What is 90 plus 9? 180. So basically, it's like you have something like this. You have uh, 180 minus B is going to be equal to 180. And then plus S, S plus this, then they're going to give you that. And then if you take this one to the other side, it says which S is going to be B. Okay. Now that we got all the different angles in terms of A and B, let's, let's highlight the triangles that we have here. Is there any triangle that you see, Matale? Give me a triangle that you see here. You see S, R, SRQ, so Matala is seeing SRQ, which is a right angle triangle. So we see SRQ. So let's take out SRQ. This is SRQ. SRQ. Okay. And then let's name the angle. See, so what is going to be this angle? This one is 90. Okay. What is this one here? B. It's 90 minus B. Okay. What is this one here? B. It's B. Okay. Is there any other triangle that you see here? Uh, Sandy, is there any triangle that you see here? What is the triangle? It's SPQ. So we are talking about this triangle here. So we have triangle PSQ. And then here what we have, we have 180 degrees, okay? Minus A plus B. Here you have B, okay? and then here you have what? You have A, and then here you have what? H. Okay, they say number one. Then we're going to start to work here. They say which we should determine the distance of SQ in terms of A, B, and H. Okay? So which one are we looking for? We're looking for SQ. Okay? SQ. Which triangle is SQ? Is it the green one or the red one? Both. Both of them. Okay, but this one here doesn't have H. The red one doesn't have H. Okay? Meaning which we can't use the red one, we're going to use the what there? The, the green. green one. So if we use the green one, we want SQ. If it's from SQ, then we're going to take this one. This one is going to go with this one here because we want SQ. Okay. And then at the same time, this one is going to go with this one here. They're going to go together here. So we're going to start with, if we name these things here, we're going to say which we have P, S, Q, something like this. Okay? And then now we're looking for SQ. What is SQ? It's P. Okay? All over the sign of capital letter P, which is going to be equal to S, okay? All over the sign of S, capital letter S, okay? 
and then we stop here. If we stop here, we are going to say, okay, we know what is P. P is it's SQ. Right? So this is going to be SQ, which is going to be sine. What is P? It's A again, okay? yes. which is going to be equal to what is S? It's H all over the sine of 180 minus A plus B. This is plus open bracket A plus B, close bracket, close bracket again. Now, this one can be the choose. Oh. When do we get 180 plus minus? Oh, when do we get 180 plus? Oh, it's 180 minus. When do we get 180 minus on which quadrant? First quadrant. Ascent. Ascent. What would you say about sign on the second quadrant? Positive. It's positive again. Okay? And then from here, we're going to cross multiply. If cross multiply, this one comes here again. Okay? And then it says which S Q is going to be given mm -hmm. as H again. Okay? Yes. Multiply by sine of A. The sign of A. All over the sign of A plus B. And then they will give us one, two, three. And then we're done with that one again. Now we can come and update our diagram. When we update our diagram, we can come and tell them, okay, we know what is S2 now. Okay? What is S2? S2 can be written as H all over. It says we need. It's H multiplied by the sine of A all over the sine of A plus one plus plus B. So when you go to the next question, that one is true, even if you couldn't prove it. So this here, this SQ up here is going to be H multiplied by the sine of A all over the sine of A plus B, close bracket. We're still fine, okay? Now they say which we should give them, which one is going to be RS, RS. We are looking for RS, which, which triangle is RS? Is this red one? Okay. Now the red one, is a, it's a right angle triangle. Since it's a right angle triangle, it means we can use trick ratios. Okay. If we are going to use trick ratios, then we can use the trick ratio of, it's either we're going to name things in terms of P or we're going to name things in terms of 90 minus P. We can either name things in terms of P or we can name things in terms of 90 minus P. Okay. Now let's start with the hypotenuse side. Which one is going to be our hypotenuse side? Is this one again? Okay. So we'll call this one I. Okay, this is the hypotenuse side. And then which one, which angle should we use as a frame of reference? B or 90 minus B? 90 minus B. Let's use 90 minus B. If you use 90 minus B, as SR is going to be what in relation to 90 minus B? Opposite. This is going to be opposite. Okay. And then this one here is going to be what? Right? This one is going to be adjacent. Okay. Now we know what is the hypotenuse side because we already calculated SQ. Okay? In terms of variable, we don't know what is RQ. We don't know what is RQ in terms of the variable. So we're not going to force it. So we need something that has the hypotenuse and the opposite. Which trick ratio has a, it has opposite and the hypotenuse? Which trick ratio is that? Sine. So I'm going to say which is the sine of 90 minus B is going to be equal to opposite H. Opposite H will go to tell them our opposite is SQ. All over our uh, opposite. What is opposite? RS. It's RS. Our opposite is going to be RS. All over our hypotenuse side. Our hypotenuse side is what? It's QS. It's QS okay? And then from here onwards, 90 minus. Where do you find 90 minus? In which quadrant do you find 90 minus? In the first quadrant. What do you say about sign in the first quadrant? It's positive. But since it's 90, this thing is going to change. Okay? So instead of it being sign, it's going to be what? Cos of B. Of B, B ne? Mm. Which is going to be equal to RS all over what? All over QS. Okay, we can cross multiply. Okay? Mm. If cross multiply, it says which is the cos of B. What's huh? What's QS. Why, like you see, like it, it will make sense to substitute once we have cross multiplied. And as it, it confuses Lenas because we have a fraction and a fraction, you know. Mm. So you will see it here. So if we go here, we're going to have QS okay? multiplied by the cos of B, which is going to be equal to, to RS. Now we know what is QS. What is QS? It's sine, it's H multiplied by the sine of A. All over the sine of, A. The sine of a plus B multiplied by what by the 
cos of b, which is going to be final to our term. Okay. Okay. And then from here, numerator can multiply the numerator. And then denominator can multiply the denominator. So if you say this one multiplied by this one, it says which you're going to have h, the sine of a, cos of b, all over sine of a plus b, which is going to be equal to what to rs. This is what we're looking for. OK, here's an activity then. Here's your activity. You are going to do activity number activity number one, activity number four. Yeah. And then how do we mark this one then? Uh, it's three marks also. Uh, we're going to give you a mark for using the trick ratio. And then we're going to give you a mark for simplification. And then for the answer, we're going to give you three marks. Then we can give you a separate mark, six out of six.